After the pilot, the next most vital crew members were the people who defended the plane. A Lancaster had guns at the front, at the rear, and as Guy is about to experience, on top. Time for the next Lancaster job. Yeah, mid up a gun. That's going to be me. Brace yourself. The air gunner is one of the most important members of the crew. Pilots, navigator, and bomb aimer entrust him with their lives while they concentrate exclusively on the job in hand. An expert team of armorers have worked for three months to create a world first and reactivate an original Lancaster turret. Dave and Kira are getting a job sorted. Both guns good? Yeah. We think this is the first time a mid-up turret has fired a bullet since late 40s. Gunners were given an intensive month of training, often firing at model targets attached to a high-speed miniature railway. Guy will face a more modern challenge. We're going to fire it in a nice guy, but we have seen a few Eurofighters flying over in the past half hour or so. So if we could get one of them, or if we could get their attention, it might be fun. <laughs> Go on. Just mind your head on here. Yeah. And you've got to try and traverse yourself around this bit here. Yeah. Cheers. Although the bubble canopy appears spacious, the average man in 1945 was only five foot six with size six feet. 21st century nutrition means there is barely any room for today's average man. Updates for your feet there. Bloody hell, it's busy in here, isn't it? Where your right hand is. Yeah. So oh. that's going to be your trigger. Hold that in for continuous fire. OK, sound. The size of them bloody bullets. Hey? Lancasters would usually operate under the cover of darkness and would never open fire first in case it revealed their position. But if a night fighter engaged, there was only one response. <laughs> what, eight hours trip there and back? Eight hours just staring. I, I think you'd be shooting it out, wouldn't you? As soon as you see someone's anything, you've got to shoot them before they shoot you. We've got a few more bullets we haven't used. Yeah, I think we should have another go here, aren't we? Come on. That's a bloody Euro fighter we missed. Weapons live. Firing three, two, one. No. The machine guns of World War II would regularly jam as well. This catch here. Yeah. Usually because of badly packed bullets. Gunners practice stripping their weapons blindfolded. This one's a little bit of a wiggle. So when the time came to carry out repairs in the dark, right, cock that one. it was second nature. Firing, three, two, one. Yeah, that was a goer, boy. Bullets on the right hand side. 1200 bullets a side a minute, so that's 2400 bullets per minute out of this, out of this one lump. <laughs> Could I have been a gunner? Yeah, of course I would. Of course I would.